Welcome back guys, it's your boy Brando. Today I want to show you guys how to get all three new camos in World War II Zombies. These are secret camos, you can unlock them by killing the little leprechaun zombie by finding little four leaf clovers or a bunch of clovers. So the first one that you want to find is over into the Grossen house. So this first part of this tutorial is going to be in Grossen house and you'll have to find a four leaf clover in the house. So as soon as you spawn in, you will actually see where there is a four leaf clover over here by the first set of stairs. And all you have to do is just go up to it, hit uh, left on your D-pad and give it some jolts. You gotta make sure you can give it 250 jolts and then you'll be ready to find the next set of clovers. Second set of clovers that you need to find is behind the staircase over there by the MP40 wall by. So that is two out of the four sets of floor leaf clovers that you need to find. And then all you have to do is go upstairs. The third four leaf clover that you want to find is over here by the shotgun wall by. It's right here next to this table, right by the stairs. Just hit left on your D pad and you'll have it. Make sure you get the rainbow and then you'll know you'll have it. All right, guys, so to find the fourth clover that you need to shoot, you actually have to open up the secret room over here in Grossen House. If you guys don't remember how to do that, you can definitely look it up on my channel, and I'll definitely do a little banner above so you guys can click on it and remember how to open up the secret room. But remember, guys, uh, you have to run around. You have to find nine little lanterns in the, in the map. So there'll be two of them outside the map. One is over here by that truck that I was just showing you. And there's seven inside. They're pretty easy to find. Remember, it's pretty dark, so you might have to shoot around a little bit. But once you shoot the little lanterns, you'll hear the little raven sound go off. And you'll also notice a little blue or purple tinted flame show up. So you'll just have to run around and do those. And don't forget, there's nine of them. And once you get the nine, you'll have to... Uh, shoot those uh, lanterns and then your upstairs room will be unlocked where you find the mystery box and it's it's pretty easy guys so um, just remember open up that secret room by shooting those uh, little lanterns on the map you'll get a little uh, purple and blue flame and then once you open up that room there will be a floor four leaf clover right inside the doorway and uh, you'll have to give it jolts as well. And remember, you guys need 250 jolts uh, for each four leaf clover. And once you give it the clover, you'll notice that you'll have the little rainbow. And that's how you know that you got it correctly. It'll do the little four leaf clover. So right here inside the door, you just go right up to it and then you'll give it, it is jolts and then you'll spawn in the leprechaun. There you go. I had to go to the next round and get 250 jolts, but you'll see the notification on the screen it says Clover Hunt Complete, and you'll give about one or two seconds, and then you'll see the little gnarly zombie leprechaun come out, and you can kill him, and then you'll know you've completed it. So it's pretty easy to shoot him. It's not like multiplayer where it takes hundreds of bullets for him to actually die. In zombies, it's pretty easy, and I want to show you guys what the camo looks like at the end. Once you're back on the weapon kit little screen here, you will you can pick out your little camo here. It's called a Gruner Noten. It's pretty cool. I think this is the best one out of all three camos, and it looks really, really sick, especially on this pistol here. So, all right, guys, that is the first map. Let's move on to the second map, which will be doing the final Reich. All right, guys, so in the final Reich, you'll have to run over here to the little statue, the little courtyard and you will find a four-leaf clover on the ground in the corner there. You won't see that first, but once you creep up on it, you'll see it. Make sure you drop your jolts, 250 of them. The second spot is right near the first one. It's over there in the corner by the 1928 wall by. It's over here in this bush right here. I wasn't able to get it in this game or the other game afterwards, so just drop some jolts. Maybe you'll get it if, it's, if you have to do it in your game. So that'll be the second spot. Remember, guys, there's nine spots. You only have to find four of them to spawn in the leprechaun and unlock your camo. So definitely drop as many jolts as you can, and then we'll see if you can get it or not. And you'll know if you got it, if you got the rainbow and the four-leaf clovers. The third location for the four-leaf clovers is over by the gas valve over there by the riverside. It's a little clump 
of clovers right here. You have to get close to it and drop your jolts. I accidentally dropped it inside that building. So I had to back up a little bit and then you drop your jolts. Make sure you get the rainbow and you'll know you're good. So the fourth one is over here by this lamp post. You'll see it right to the right of there. I didn't have it in this game, but you should have maybe. So the fifth possible location out of nine is back here by where you do the Easter egg step out here. It's a little to the right of the wall by here in the corner. You'll see it plain as day. It's a little four leaf clover. If you don't see the first is drop jolts just in case and you will get it. So the next location is down here in the sewers by the docks over there by the river. You'll see it right here in this little rubble rock. It'll stand out to you. It's a little four leaf clover. Uh, if you don't see it at first, definitely uh, take a couple passes on it. It's pretty dark down here and it's uh, pretty hard to notice, but I found it in my second game. So just go along that wall, drop a couple jolts if you don't see it at first. And if it's there, you will definitely get it. The next location is to the entrance of Klaus's workshop. It's right there in front of the box right there. So here I found all four. I got the clover hunt complete. Little notification on the screen and I saw the little leprechaun. You shoot him and then you know you have the camo. But I want to show you guys the rest of the locations. The next location is inside the laboratory uh, between the entrance of the laboratory and the salt mine right there in the corner. It should be poking out right there if you see it. Just drop some jolts if you don't see it at first. And then you'll know you get it if you get the rainbow and the little shamrocks. The final location is in the morgue right here in the corner where I'm pointing at. It'll be on the rubble. Uh, I didn't need it for this camo. I didn't need it uh, in this step here. But you guys might need it. But if you guys go up to the little rubble up there and look around a little bit, you might be able to see a four-leaf clover. And then you'll get your camo notification when you uh, complete all of them. To go back to your weapon kit, you'll see that the new camel that you unlocked is called a Schwein Gahop. I'm probably butchering it there, but that is the second camel that you can unlock. You unlock it by doing all those four leaf clovers on the final Reich. And now you're two out of three done. And the next one is Darkest Shore. First location for the four leaf clovers on the Darkest Shore is right left of the quick revive machine over here. It's a little cluster. Put down your jolts and you'll have the first one done. Next location for four leaf clovers are up here on the bluffs. It's right against the little fence there. It's a little tricky to notice at first, but once you see it, it will definitely stand out to you. You just walk down here and it'll be in the cluster of grass that I'm pointing at right now. Uh, it'll pop out to you and all you have to do is just put down your jolts and then you'll know you'll got it. when You see the little shamrocks and of course the rainbow show up and then you know you're good. Next location is inside of the U-boat area. You'll just go down here where the paper is. Go down the stairs to the right here and it'll be over here in this corner. It's pretty noticeable. It stands out pretty well. Just drop your jolts and you'll get the rainbow and then you know you did it perfectly. Next location that we have to find a little cluster of four leaf clovers is up by where the body is that you have to shoot the head off with the little buzzsaw up there. It's up there in the corner. It's pretty easy to notice. It's a little cluster of four leaf clovers and it'll be right in front of the beheaded head over here to the left. So you just run up there, look down on the ground and there it is. Drop your jolt and you know you did it good because you had the shamrocks and the rainbow. Next possible location for these four leaf clovers are up here by this mine cart, uh, right by the entrance to the mine cart. It'll be on the ground left of this little bucket here. Just drop your jolts down and then you'll see you got it with the clover hunt complete notification and then you'll see the little leprechaun shoot him and then you're done and now you have the third and final camo. I already unlocked the camo but I definitely want to show you guys the rest of the possible locations for these four leaf clovers. So run up that hill there a little bit. You'll see over here in this tuff of grass with the little ammo crates there might be a four leaf clover right there. If you're unsure whether or not you can see it just make sure you drop down the jolts. And then you'll see the rainbow and the shine rocks if you did get it. If you don't find a four leaf clover there, uh, there's two more spots left to find. So the next spot I'm going to show you is the little barrel right here in front of the artillery bunker. You'll see a four leaf clover there. Just drop your jolts down and then you're almost done. Go on to the next step. The final possible location for these four leaf clovers is inside this bunker here along the wall on the ground right where I'm pointing at right there. And uh, once you guys get it, like I said before, you'll get the camo notification 
and you'll see the little leprechaun spawn in and then you can kill it. Guys, that's my tutorial for all three camos, unlocking them on all three maps for World War II zombies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification button so you guys never miss any upload. Alright guys, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.